Okay, so I watched Land of the Land Land. There we go. Land of the Dead last night for the first time. And yeah. I'm not gonna sugarcoat this guys. I really am not gonna sugarcoat this. I was not a fan of this movie. Um do I think it's the worst movie ever made? No. No, like not by a long shot. Like I think there's entertaining moments. I think there's moments of good shots. Good scenery, there's some okay gore, there's some okay kills in certain sections of the movie. But, um, there were two main things in this movie I really, I wasn't a fan of. It's probably, it's it's not the worst, but it's still, you can you, you can tell it looks fake. Like whatever budget it was made on, like, it certainly did not go into this. For one, the zombie makeup. I don't think it looks realistic at all. Like, I don't... Like, you, it, it, it looks better than some of the previous movies, like the one I, I did a review on, on on my channel, what was that called? Um, I, I don't know. Um, uh, cause I saw that, I saw that movie a few months back, and I was, you know, in the 2000s, you know, George o. Romeo, you know, zombie era of when he was, like, making sequels to these. Um, but this movie, okay, there's a couple of things I, I do like. For one, I like the idea or the premise of zombies going into the city. I, I, I like that. That has been explored and seen in some other zombie movies. But I thought here, I thought it was okay. The execution, while it's not the greatest, there's one thing in this movie I really, really don't like. Zombies having guns and knowing how to shoot. Like you see, there's like a zombie in this. Um, there's like a scene... When one of the where one of these military soldiers is on the ground, or it could be just like a random person, um, and I think he he's lost an arm or something, and um, the leader of the zombie group is like showing her how to shoot the gun, and so I, mean, I do like that progression of like they find the gun and then they slowly figure out what it does. Um, it, it adds some intelligence to the zombie i think so so like they're, they're more than just like you know mindless killing you know creatures they actually can't they do actually have some sort of a, a brain functioning still there's still that there's still that side of them that can still think normally um another thing i was not a fan of in this movie was the gore which oh that that this this, this hates me to say this hates me to say because if, like, I watch a zombie movie, I, you know, I, I want to see fucking, you know, zombies, you know, tearing through people, I want to see guts, limbs flying everywhere, like, I want to see that shit, that's like a part of a zombie movie, and while there is a lot of it in here, it doesn't look good, like, there's a few shots in this film where the gore does look good, but for the most part, I was not a fan of the way the gore looked on screen, um, yeah, I was not... I was not a fan of the zombies, I wasn't a fan of the gore. Um, this doesn't feel like George A. Romeo's original zombie movies. It's, it doesn't have that sense of claustrophobia, of closed in. Like that's why you know, Night of the Living Dead and Dawn of the Dead, like why those movies are so good is there's a sense of dread there, there's a sense of being kind of closed in into an environment like Night of the Living Dead in particular where it feels very, you know, closed in, and there's zombies, you know, all around you. In this, it feels too spread out, so it doesn't feel like there's much of a threat. Um, like, yeah, zombies do kill people, they do chew through people, but it just, it doesn't feel like they are a threat here. Um, it's, it like, yeah, I, just, I was not a fan of this movie. Characters, fine, I guess. The characters, the characters are fine. Um, story, uh, story was, was pretty messy, uh, if, if I must say, I wasn't really a fan of this story, and just at this point, I'm really not a fan of George A. Romeo's, like, newer zombie movies on, like, on this era of the dead, like, series that he's doing, on this new take of this, of expanding his world that he set up in Night of the Living Dead and Dawn of the Dead. I am not a fan of what he's doing here. Like, I've reviewed two of his movies now, and I'm just, I'm not a fan of, of his progression. 
um, or like the social commentary in this as well because his m newer movies seem to have a social commentary. As far as it goes in here, like I, I just I don't I don't like the social commentary. I feel like for a zombie movie, you shouldn't need to have a social commentary. I mean, there's one thing that us horror fans are there to see. That's to see zombies like killing people in really brutal and gory ways. Like we want we want that shit. We don't we don't require a social commentary. And because like there's this whole you know social commentary about you know, people you know like up on the higher floor and you know the higher people who have more money and then there's like the lower class you know citizens who don't have much money and there's this whole social commentary around that and I was I wasn't a fan of that like I didn't want to see that and that there is a lot of, there is a lot of this movie that is there was a lot of that this movie that is kind of dedicated to fleshing out that that social commentary and through you know dialogue and all that and I was just I was not a fan of it and at those parts of the movie I was just like where the fuck is where the fuck are these zombies and another thing in this movie uh, that I really hated jump scares people know how I feel about jump scares if you've been watching my channel for long enough you know how I feel about jump scares this movie, like literally every scene, end, ends in a jump scare. Like there's scene when the camera will pan to the right, nothing there. Camera pans back. There's a zombie appears. Like there's a scene, okay? There's a scene when a guy, there's like this flashlight or whatever, and he shines it because he hears a sound. And there's like two people and all that, and he shines the torch, um, like over to the right. There's nothing there. He, uh, he shines it, you know, um. Uh, how do I describe this? He shines it to the right, and then he shines it back to you know where he is, and a zombie appears. It's this movie has an overabundant of jump scare filled scenes, and it's just I uh like from the first jump scare. I mean, I was sick of it, but it's it's constant throughout the movie, and I was. I just got bored of this movie really quickly. I wasn't a fan, guys. Let me know down in the comments because I know this movie has actually, I think it's like a 76% on Rotten Tomatoes. People will seem to like this, um, which is, you know, good for you. Maybe upon a second viewing, I might like this movie more. But as for now, I have no intention in ever going back to rewatch this one. I'll stick with his original ones. But if you have seen Land of the Dead, let me know down in the comments what did you think of it? Did you like it? Did you think it was Mount or did you really not like it? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below. So anyways guys, hope you have a good rest of your day, evening and night, and I'll see you in the next video. Alright, bye.